Okay, here's a good frequency I like to uh, be on and to check out. This guy's kind of lost in the mud a little bit in the hash, and uh, this BHI unit is not on on my Kenwood TS440S. But I'm going to go ahead and we'll listen in. I think that I would, I would certainly hear a jet engine. Now I'm going to check the BHI. Now, here's how it sounds without the BHI. As low to the ground as it was, it would be in commercial airlines. BHI. So you see, there's a level of one. I can still hear a little bit of the hash and static. Level two. Level three. Level four. I'm just playing around with the filters right now. This is wide. And then I've got my filters that are uh, actually in here, a CW and a, uh, a CW filter and an SSB filter. I'm using the SSB filter right now. There's M2. This is narrow. And you can hear the narrowness. This lets it pick it itself. So it picking itself is not bad. But I like M2. And I think I'm going to use it. Because it gives me the highs that I can hear as I'm getting older. The hearing is going for the lows, and it's not good. So, go ahead and turn this off for a minute. So, what would you rather listen to? This? Or that. I personally would rather listen to that. This guy's very, very weak. He's uh, registering about a three. Not even a three. There we go. To see, he can't. He can't. This guy talking right now can't even hear the guy. But I'm hearing him enough that I'm probably hearing him better than he is with the BHI unit. So you can see the BHI unit's working really good, and the band's not even doing well at all, but it doesn't matter. BHI catches it. See how you could hear the other guy? He said 73. So. Wow, this thing, this this unit is amazing. Now let's hear what this sounds like. We can hear the guy now. Let's see if we can hear him when we do this. You know you gotta love this filter, it's so awesome. Even on three, I can pick them out probably a little bit better. Oh, I could pull out of that was Salt Lake City. I couldn't even. All my friends heard Salt Lake City. Uh, extremely black copy of the band. Just really uh, doesn't seem to be cooperating tonight. Uh, my noise level again is just right around that seven. So uh, you're
Um, you pierced enough into it, I was, uh, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Might try one more time. We'll see if we can make it go out. Uh, there you go. Okay, the band picked up just slightly here, Bob. And that's seven right there. Let me, uh, give me just a minute. Jody will be right back. Hang with me, my friend. Uh, let me, let me turn the antenna towards Salt Lake City. I got lots of people calling. It's a busy night. So bear with me. We're turning the Yagi out uh, towards Salt Lake City to see if we can get a little bit better uh, signal there on you. All right, let's try that and see if that's uh, any better. We didn't get the call that time uh, out in Salt Lake City. My name is Dick Delta India, Charlie Kilo. I'm out here near Fort Worth, Texas. And Again, I'm in Ohio, so Toledo, Ohio, so that's a good 1,400 miles from here. Or, uh, or whatever. So, uh, We'll see how you copy so far, my friend. KF7UUM uh, from W5CBO. Uh, this is uh, KF7UUM, Kilo, Fox Truck 7, Uniform, Uniform, Mike, Salt Lake City. Uh, please use the slide. But uh, I'm going to call it off, but it's not working too good. See? Okay, are you not hearing me very well? Because uh, you came up considerably. So for these guys right now in the current situation, three is pretty good. So anyway, I'm hearing all these guys. All right, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Jody, let me uh, get the antenna back around to you because uh, he's not hearing me very well, apparently. Let me uh, turn the antenna back towards, uh, towards Florida there. And, uh, I haven't heard you. Hopefully you'll hear me because sometimes when I turn the antenna, it gets, you'll get in the null of it and uh, you might not hear me too well. All right, there we go. We're back towards Florida again. This is great to have a nice long conversation because I can demonstrate how well this works. So here's Florida right here. I guess it's not going to be a good night. I heard you laugh, so I guess I guess that means you were in jail. Here it is without it. No, I tell you what. And with it. So I'm going to hear him where the other guy's not going to hear him. And that makes the big difference. This filter will help you hear. And that's what it's all about. This is without it. You hear that? It cleans them right up, doesn't it? Isn't that awesome? So anyway, I just want to give you a demonstration of what the filter can and cannot do, how wonderful the BHI filter is. You can purchase it from BHI directly, of course, W4RT, um, and of course you can get it from Gap. Uh, they sell them as well, Gap Antenna Products, and they're awesome. They work really well, very easy to install in the Kenwood. If you need any help, if you want to install it in your Kenwood, let me know. Uh, my call is W2JAW, so I have no problem helping someone put it into theirs like I did mine. I think the install was very simple. So if you need some help, that's fine. If you uh, want some instructions on that, that's not an issue. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things here about that. Things that made it a lot easier um, were the instructions that were online that I found. I found that that helped me tremendously in putting in, the, uh, in this filter. So getting this filter, you can't go wrong. Have a good night. 73 is all.